Wow, Scorpio, look, it is, it's throat chakra healing time. It's time to um, feel that you've got to do things on your own, by yourself. Um, you've got to get out of that. You've got to get out of uh, um, feeling that, no, you know, I'm controlling everything. No one else, no one's going to tell me how to do what I need to do. No, and you're right. No one's going to tell you how to do you, right? When you have an enlightenment, you stay in your own lane, right? But you do that through the healing of your throat chakra and your heart chakra and your third eye chakra, your root, all of your chakras. Because when you do that, you're able to release the shadow ego. You're able to release your social conditioning and everything that you think that you're needing to be, right? That's the struggle. That's the struggle that you're having, and it's a simple fix. Thank you for joining us today, Scorpio. Uh, uh, this is Catherine and Tanya, Twin Flame Mystique 1111. We're going to give you a, a Lion's Gate energy, Ascension Energy Update. Um, this Lion Gate has been a push for us to be in our authenticity, to step up and um, be in our life purpose uh, for our soul plan. And, and the struggle is needing to let go of your social conditioning. It is not who you are, Scorpio. Everything that you were raised to believe is not who you are. It's who, it's who you know your your parents are, or whoever raised you. Their beliefs and the beliefs of their parents, <coughs> and the beliefs of their parents, the beliefs of their parents. And what has that got you so far? Hmm? It has brought you to enlightenment and has brought you to a time to let all that go because that is now your past life what you're experiencing now is who you are it's just an acceptance so once you can allow who you truly are to happen it's all good then you're golden Look, you are your own divine timing. Not the timing of your mama, not the timing of your daddy, not the timing of, of everyone else around you, whatever religious beliefs, no, no, no. You are your own <coughs> divine timing. You are here carrying your own individual puzzle piece. Allow that to shine. All right, Tanya has put out a spread. Now let's see what's happening. All right, Scorpio. Um, also, please like and subscribe um, so we can get our message out to more people. Yes, it helps us out. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching. So for Lionsgate, we have rescue, making a choice, and encouragement. Yes. So there's a choice that you have to make. And like she said, it's, it's about enlightenment with the sun and with the death card. It's shedding everything that no longer serves you. Um, Another repetitive message here is illusion. Mm. Just exactly what she was talking about. Mm. You have to look through the situation. I think I had a car. Yes. Look through the situation. Because this choice that has to be made during this Lions Gate is something that, regardless of you, you know, A or B, it's going to change your your life forever and your path forever right at least so, for a while well it's awakening you to who you truly are yeah so we for the soul lessons we have the failure card i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn so there's something that you're i mean that there's fear for yeah. something there's fear in moving forward with something that you need to let that go also perseverance i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to so right. it is, it is the fear. And also with all these purple, we have a lot of purple. 
Oh, yeah, that's third eye action. We have Peridot Life Lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. If you can look at your, your life um, objectively, then you'll be able to see these patterns and you'll know exactly how to to break. You know where the problem stems from and you know how to break that right. to move on to the next stage of your life and have a new beginning. Right. Citrine, unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. Citrine, yes. Beautiful. Let's see, what else do we have? Beautiful. You deserve love, express your love, and keep an open mind. That's right. <clears throat> That's right. You have to let go of the fear. Yeah, you do. You do. And look, that fear comes from your social conditioning. Fear doesn't come from who you truly are. Fear doesn't come from soul, source, God, spirit, universe. There is no fear there at all. It is what you have been taught. And that fear comes from the failed expectations of your upbringing, the limitations of your upbringing. That's where fear is. Fear is born of the limitations that the human shadow ego places on you. But when you start meeting all sorts of resistance, when you start feeling like you're just hitting your head against a wall, I keep doing this and I keep praying or I keep I keep trying to cleanse. I keep trying. I keep doing all these things, and nothing is changing. And in fact, it may seem sometimes that things are getting worse, right? You know what? That's because you're still trying to. And what has been the the? It's been a message for all, which is stop trying to rewrite your fate. You cannot change who you are, who you truly are. You can change the connection, the human experience by le releasing it, letting them go and know that everything that has happened for you is no longer happening to you. It happened for you and move forward into your heaven on earth through that unique puzzle piece that you carry. So release that fear because you are blocking you. No one else is doing anything to you. You are doing it to you. Pointing the finger at someone or something or having to have someone to blame, all of that is having to do with the human shadow ego. All of that has to do with your social conditioning. It has nothing to do with your, your soul source. Your soul source, God spirit, is unconditional unity consciousness there's no room there for fear or failure or none of that there isn't that's what you're fighting against and that's why you may feel like well crap I mean I keep doing I keep trying and 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 it just gets worse yeah because you're resisting yourself how silly does that sound right look in the mirror look in the mirror that's all you got to do is look in the mirror we have to stop trying to fit in to a mold that we weren't meant for. Right. And that's what this is all about. Um, again, a repetitive message with the fog yeah. veiled. That means that you're all you're seeing, what you're seeing right now is devil. It's karmic. It's the 3D. That's it, yes. And this is, okay. So with the Two of Pentacles, it's like you're juggling that. Like, oh, well... Do I want 3D or do I want enlightenment? Do I want 3D or do I want enlightenment? Because that's really what it comes down to. But these cards are showing me that you're going to step into your power, like with the Queen of Wands, right. and use your innate abilities of psychicness or whatever you want to call it. And you're going to go on this new journey. That's the choice that a lot of you are going to make because this is the pre predominant energy. So at least for right. most of you guys, you're going to take that leap of faith, go on a journey, and then you're going to have... The Empress. The Empress is, she's birthing something. She's pregnant. We're all birthing something during this Lionsgate. Yes. So you need to decide what it is that you want to right. 
give birth to. Stop waffling. <clears throat> You're doing that to yourself. If something is in your path, Let's say you're, you're, you're starting a new project, a new business, or what have you. Nothing is a coincidence. And nothing just happens randomly. Pay attention to the signs. That's right. It is all for a purpose. Stop trying that, to read too much into the signs. That's and right. And feel what the signs feel mean. It. Feel it. There is no juggling right here. This is where you are playing it small. There's no juggling of the 3D and who you are, enlightenment. There's no there's no juggling. Do you see that? How silly, you know? Why you want a bag of beans when you can have caviar? You know? I mean, it's just no, you, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? It is um it's not who you are. That's why you're meeting resistance. That's why you're meeting resistance. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Because that's your calling. That flow is your calling. That is your divine time, your divine timing. Your soul connection telling you, hey, hey, it's time. It's time. But then you're over here. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't see it. I don't physically have it in my hand, so eh, I don't think so. And Spirit's like, oh, okay. All right. That's up to you. So, all right. And let's see how far you get. Let's see how happy you continue to be. You know what? You're not. 3D or in enlightenment. That's, I'm telling you. That's the big choice. That's right. And everything else that you manifest depends on what choice you make. It's up to you, nobody else. Nobody can make you happy. You got to do that. Nobody can love you until you love you. Nobody can uh, give you a, a, a heaven on earth until you do it. It's all on you because it's your path. They have their own path. Stay in your lane. All right, we have self-sufficiency. The ultimate self-sufficiency is relying on God doesn't mean hiding in a cave and saying I don't need people instead it's saying God is my source and I'm willing to receive all the help love and support that wants to come so that's the self-sufficiency wow. beautiful message it all wrapped up into one all right guys thank you so much um if you like a personal reading just go to our website twinflamemystique1111.com thank you